Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Lost Cities mod in Minecraft 1.16.5. This is a really, really cool mod that adds in basically cities to Minecraft and it's awesome. Like one of the coolest mods I've seen in a very long time if I'm honest and honestly one that you should check out if you haven't already. It adds in cities to Minecraft. Now there's a few ways to do this. You can make your entire world a city which is what we're going to be doing in this video just because we want to go to the extreme. But you can also make it where there's cities like sprinkled out throughout the world. There's highways in these cities. There's parks. They're abandoned though. That's one thing you, I should mention here. These are abandoned cities but there's highways. There's parks. There's subways. All of that stuff is built into this. Bridges, tunnels, all that. It's really really cool. And by the way the subway system works. So you can put a minecart on it and travel across the city. It's really awesome. But nevertheless this is a really really cool mod. First we do have some more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start our very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. You aren't here to start a Minecraft server though, you are here to get the Lost Cities mod, so let's go ahead and do it. The first thing you wanna do is go to the second link down below and that's gonna take you here. This is the Lost Cities official download page where on the right hand side, we can come over here and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16. And then under that, we'll see Lost Cities. Now, it's kinda weird because this is version four of the mod. It looks like it's for 1.16.4, but I promise it is not. It is for 1.16.5, the most recent version of Minecraft. So as you can see, we've got Lost Cities and there's an orange download button to the right of that under 1.16. Let's go ahead and click that orange download button. It takes off to a page where after a few seconds, the Lost Cities will start downloading. And uh, once it does begin downloading, we'll need to keep or save it depending on the browser you're on. But it's 100% safe. It's got over 20 million downloads. As you can see in the bottom left though, we have Lost Cities 1.16 downloading. We want to go ahead and click keep on Google Chrome. Almost like a Firefox, it'll pop in the center of your screen or you'll need to save Lost Cities. Now we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. You can find Forge linked in the description down below. Now, when you click that link, it's going to take you to actually our in-depth Forge tutorial. And if you do have any issues, it's great. Right, but we always can keep this link up to date and things like that, and that's why we link through that in the description. Nevertheless, though, once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button, and that's going to open up Forge's official website. Once you're there, we want to make sure MC 1.16.5 is right here. If it is, you're going to go ahead and ignore the next... 20 seconds, but if it's not, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the plus 1.16 on the left-hand side, and then click on 1.16.5 there. Finally, you'll see Minecraft or MC 1.16.5 appear here, and that gives us the go-ahead to continue on. To continue on, we want to come under Download Latest here and click on the Installer button. That's going to take us off to add focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Not a single thing on this page except the red skip button that appears in the top right. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, Forge will download in the bottom left. As you can see here, Forge 1.16.5 is downloading. We are good to keep that file. Same thing on Mozilla Firefox. It's going to pop in the center of your screen where you're safe to save it as long as Forge is in the title. It's not the title. You didn't click the skip button. Go ahead and discard it, get rid of it, and then click the red skip button and Forge will begin downloading. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop we have Lost Cities and we have Forge. I promise that wasn't planned that the uh, that New York is the background on the Lost Cities mod tutorial, but nevertheless, if these aren't on your desktop, what do you do? Well, they're most likely going to be found in your downloads folder. And to find that, you want to click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, though. And then when you do that, you want to go ahead and type in downloads. Once we type in downloads here, we'll have this downloads file folder in Windows. Go ahead and click on that, and then in here we'll find Lost Cities and Forge. Go ahead and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we want to start off with Forge. Now if your files don't look like mine, that's okay, but let's see if you can open up Forge first. Go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With. If you have Java, click on it and click OK. But if you don't have Java, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Lost Cities being a Minecraft mod means you need this version of Java here. Now, once you go through this little three-step tutorial and get Java installed, go ahead and try to open up Forge. Now, you may still have some issues, and if you do, you want to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files in your computer and link them back to Java. Now, one thing I will say is if your icons look different than mine, the jar fix will most likely fix that, assuming you have Java installed. Now, let's go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we just want to come down here and click on the Install Client, and then click OK, right? Once you've selected Install Client, click OK, and now what it's going to do is install Forge get everything up and running for you in Forge in Minecraft 1.16.5 and uh, yeah, basically get everything installed. So as you can see, stuff install client profile Forge for version 1.16.5. Looks good to me, so click OK. It's going to close out of that. Now you can delete Forge from your desktop. We don't need it anymore. What we now want to do is go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. 
And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, we want to make sure that Forge is selected before we go ahead and click that play button. So watch it. Hold on. Slow down. What you want to do is click on the little drop down box next to the play button here. And then as you can tell, we do have this Forge profile and it says 1.16.5 Forge under it. So with that, we're going to click it, click play, click play again. We're good to go. However, if you don't have this Forge profile or if you do and it doesn't say 1.16.5 Forge under it, what do you do? Well, first things first, go to installations up here at the top, the installations tab, and make sure modded is checked on the right hand side. As you can see if I deselect that, modded forge goes away it's no longer here so we have to select modded to make forge appear here now if that does make forge appear it says 1.16.5 you're good to click play but if forge isn't here even after clicking that modded button or it doesn't say 1.16.5 under it what we need to do is click plus new installation then you can name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com well, i'm gonna name it that because that's our own incredible 1.16.5 grief protected survival server we have aquatic survival with great pvp and a slash shop based economy and then we have medieval survival with a player based economy and 30 custom quests on top of all that we do have skyblock as well it's the best skyblock server out there with custom challenges custom minions custom storyline it's incredible. Scum player of this play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click this version drop down box here. And then we want to find release 1.16.5 4. Now, mine's up here at the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right up here at the top. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to change the resolution. You don't need to do that, but uh, we're making a video. I know what you want to be able to see, so I do. Uh, then we finally, we can click the green create button here. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile here. And under that, most importantly, it says 1.16.5 forge. So we can go ahead and hover over that and click the green play button. Then you want to go ahead and click this little checkbox. All this is saying is, yes, you agree that you're playing modded Minecraft and you understand that you're playing modded Minecraft. So to do that, let's go ahead and click the green play button here. And it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.16.5. Five with Forge installed. Now you might be like, whew, that was a lot to install that mod, but we haven't installed the mod yet. But luckily, installing the mod is super, super easy from this point on. The hard part of installing mods is getting Forge. You now have Forge, so the hard part is over. Take a deep breath, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're on the Minecraft main menu, and then we'll install Lost Cities. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and from the main menu, we want to click on the Mods button here. Then we want to click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's then, of course, going to open up our Mods folder, where we want to take Lost Cities and drag and drop it into the Mods folder, right like so. Now, at this point, we can close out of the Mods folder, and it's not back here. It's not going to be in Minecraft until we click Done and quit the game. Now, I'm going to be like, what? What? Do I have to set up that Forge profile again? No, you don't. It's already in Minecraft. It's already set up. And most likely, it's even already selected here next to the Play button. But if not, just click that drop-down box and select it. It should say 1.16.5 dashboard under it. And then click the green Play button. Minecraft's now going to open up. And the most important part is Lost Cities is installed. As you can see right there, Lost Cities is recognized as a Minecraft mod. I'm going to show you how to generate a Lost Cities world and all that stuff in single player this is available on servers by the way so if you are a server owner and want to install lost cities on your server you can warning though it is going to have to be a forge server which are you know less performing than other types of servers but still cool mod and something i would love to see on some servers i think it's really really cool but nevertheless once we are in minecraft here i will confirm that the mod is installed in the mods tab so here we are in minecraft we click on the mods tab and there is lost cities most importantly though let's go ahead and click on single player as you can see i do have this world from testing and that was cool but we're going to create a new world and we're going to see lost cities video here and then i'm going to go ahead and make it creative you do not have to play this in creative you can and i recommend playing it in survival but for videos it's just easier to do it in creative the most important though part is going to more world options now by default you'll like have the uh the cities in your world so don't worry about that if you just clicked play back here oh excuse me if you just clicked create new world right you would be there right like you would have cities, but they wouldn't, your entire world wouldn't be a city. So if you want to make your entire world a city, click on more world options and then click on cities up here in the top right. Then you can go through and kind of change some of the different stuff that is kind of set up here, right? So by default, this is what it looks like, right? This is what you'll have. You'll have some cities sprinkled throughout the plains. Then you can go through ancient. That's just going to make them ancient cities instead of more modern cities. Cavern, I believe, is going to change the underground of the city some. And then the next one is nomad. So that's going to, I think, have some more different side of damage or no damage. So that's going to be no damage in the city. That would be cool. And then the one that uh, I think we might do here, which is only city. Literally everything is a city. That's a bit much, though. So let's go ahead. Oh, there's also rare cities. There's also safe. I don't know what that is, honestly, what safe is. Tall buildings. That would be cool. Let's do that one. Let's do tall buildings. What else is here? Wasteland, disabled. All right, we're going to go all the way back through. Let's do tall buildings. 
click done and create our world here. So this is gonna be cool. The building's gonna be very, very tall. Now it is saying you're using experimental world settings. Guess what? Of course you are. The world is generating big cities in the world. So of course you are. Nevertheless, I am gonna do a quick jump cut because it's gonna take it a second to uh, generate this and I will see you once it's done that. So here we are in the city and I can confirm these are some tall flipping buildings. Wow. This is insane. So the city won't be everywhere, right? Whoa, that's cool. Look at that. Like I said, these are abandoned and some of them will have stuff destroyed on them. Look at that. That is actually really, really cool. What is this up here? Anything special? No. But uh, yeah, so there won't be cities everywhere and you will have, as you can see, some, some normal biomes sprinkled in. Uh, and, and in my opinion, that's kind of a good thing. Otherwise, it could be kind of interesting or kind of difficult. But you could also do a true city survival uh, to where you don't have anything like that and you just have like 100% cities. Here's one of the bridges it was talking about over some water there. Really, really cool. And uh, yeah, now we're starting to hit the ocean. But as you can see, there's even some seawall here on the ocean that goes around, um, even underwater tunnels connecting these cities. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Uh, and you can actually use these tunnels. So let me just go ahead and show you. Uh, this might actually be a tunnel entrance. And if it's not, we'll dig down to it real fast. Let's see. Can we go down to the tunnel from here? We can, it looks like. Not conventionally, though. So I'm just going to kind of quickly see if we can build in here from the bottom up because I don't want to break anything, and I still broke something. So anyway, we can go ahead and do that, and boom. And now what's cool is, as you can see, this is a working rail line. So if we actually go ahead and throw down a minecart here, this will work as a rail line, as a minecart, and transport us from one area of the city to another just got to get the rail cart going here, and boom, there we go, we are off. So now, it's going to trans or move us from one part of the city to another, hi creeper. Um, and as you can see, we are now underwater and in a tunnel, going under the water, right? <laughs> so cool stuff. And this is like the subway system that it was talking about. And this goes throughout a lot of the different cities, allowing you to get from one area to another. And as you learn the cities, you'll actually be able to use this effectively as a mode of transportation. Right now, we're just going uh, under the water because it's cool and you can see the super tall buildings up there and all that stuff. But eventually you'll be able to use this as a real mode of transportation. And it actually does have an endpoint. Like it is going to take us above ground at some point at what is, you know, kind of like a station, sort of a thing where it uh, does start and end. But really cool stuff and a great way to get around the city, in my opinion. And something that I'm glad they added in. I feel like if it didn't have this, it would be a little more boring and uh, you wouldn't have as much stuff to do. But the fact there is a transportation system throughout the city is, is really awesome. I'm actually starting to see... I'm glad we're in create. No, I want to go that way. <laughs> but um, as you can see, we now have three railroad lines kind of converging. And what that means, come on, go, 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 go. What that means is we have three different, like, uh, basically areas coming together here. And what is probably going to lead to some sort of a hub area. Um, hopefully, we don't get any more zombies. I just want to kind of push this to its limit because this is kind of crazy, right? As to how, how much this is and how expansive of an underground subway system this is. Now, one thing I will say that's kind of interesting is that none of the uh, subways are abandoned. <laughs> and you would kind of expect that, you know, being a lost cities, abandoned cities, you would expect broken track and things like that. They aren't. That could be cool to uh, have that added in, but uh, I get it. You know, honestly, it's kind of one of the cooler features. You don't want to, uh, to ruin it. But wow, you can kind of look up and see some of the crazy buildings that we're going under right now. Um, let's see. Where, where does this end? We can, I think, move faster flying than we can on the minecart. But absolutely insane stuff. Great mod. One of the coolest. And you know what's the best part about this mod is? If you want to go in your world, generate some cities and things like that, and then stop using this mod, you can 100% do that without any problems. So here we go. This is what I was talking about. Here is one of those stations. And uh, as you can see, three lines come together. We're at a station. We can actually go up and out of this world here and uh, or out of the station here and be in the uh, overworld. And, and, and boom, here we are. We are now in a city. All right, like so. So awesome stuff. Really, really cool mod. And there's parks. There's, you know, different kinds of buildings, different styles of buildings and all that stuff. And really, really cool. I would love to see a survival based in a mod like this. But nevertheless, really cool mod. And you can actually uninstall this mod and keep any existing cities. It does not add in any additional blocks. So one of the cool things about this uh, mod is you could generate like a 20 by 20,000 world, have tons of cities to explore, and then uninstall the mod and use it on a server or play it in single player or something like that. But whoa, that's a tall building. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I'm out. Peace.